On this video, I'm going to show you how I used Wavelab to further edit, process, and export the car sounds that are recorded to get them ready for a Halion sample library. Once I opened Wavelab LE, I pointed it to the folder where I gathered all my samples that Cubase AI created for me with the bounce selection function. Wavelab gives me the option to audition the sounds and inspect them for any problems. All I need to do is click and the sound plays automatically. Next step was to import all the sounds into Wavelab. So I hit Command A or Control A if you are on a PC and all the sound files in the folder are selected. Then a single drag and drop and we're done. Wavelab opens all the audio files in separate tabs. Really convenient. Then it's time to analyze the samples. I wanted to make sure that our samples do not contain any problematic frequencies, especially in the low end. Wavelab has some great analysis tools, but one of my favorites is the 3D frequency analysis tool. This allows me to select a portion of the audio and analyze its frequencies throughout its length. It's great to detect rumbles or subsonic frequencies that will occupy a lot of headroom when I process the files. Next, I use the normal normalizer tool to even out the volume of the different samples. The sounds should be consistent throughout the library. For fine tuning, I use the envelope tool as it allows for fine control of the dynamics, especially if a sample contains levels that vary. I can tame the transients and enhance the tails of the sound without using a compressor. When I was happy, I could duplicate the sample so that I could further edit it and give it a unique name. That's when I performed the more detailed fade-ins, fade-outs and trims. Then it was time for polishing the sound. I used the Studio E to remove some unwanted frequencies and enhance the qualities of each sample. Wavelab LE can of course load third-party plugins, so I used the Yamaha Equalizer 601 to add some color to the sounds. I followed those with a limiter so that I could ensure that no clipping occurred. Then all I had to do was to give the files a unique name and I was done. When I needed more options, I could always move to Wavelab Pro 9.5, which offers a vast set of features. For example, I could use the excellent restoration facilities to denoise or even even completely remove sounds from the recordings that shouldn't even be there. Like this metallic sound, for example, that found its way into the recording. The new Wavelet display makes it easy to identify problems with your recordings. I also like to use the Meta Normalizer in Wavelet Pro. This can normalize the files according to an LUFS value, extremely important when you try to retain a consistent level amongst your samples. Last but not least, Wavelab Pro 9.5 also offers a great selection of differing and sample rate conversion tools, should I want my library to be delivered in multiple sample rates and bit depths. The batch processing tool allowed me to perform plugin processes on all files at once and export them on multiple formats, WAV, MP3, and rename them in one go. With all files processed and exported, we are now ready to build our Halion 6 library. See you in the next video.